Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Shushi Z. Men don't want to marry us. We're all single and getting scared. Really, ladies? Please like and subscribe below. I really appreciate that. Let's do that. Ciao. Ciao time. Cheers, sippy tube. Welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chishu Z. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Breaking news. You won't believe this. We've got a chick here who actually admits that maybe, just maybe, we haven't been drinking enough coffee get your oh. coffees out but not only that she says maybe we've taken this single thing too far maybe just maybe we took this independent minded feminist movement too far and why does she think so because most of her friends in fact all of her friends are unmarried and single and she can't believe it she can't believe it don't believe me check it out for yourself let's get it in the most selfish way possible, sometimes I do have to look at my friends and think maybe we took being single a bit too far. Mm. Maybe we cheered each other on in our singleness a bit too much. Some would even argue that maybe we took feminism too far because I'm looking around the group and thinking, mm, not even one wedding is on the horizon. Not even one? Study shows, boys. 6.5 out of 10,000 men are getting married. Yeah. Not even one? But I think a lot of chicks today can relate to this. Let's be honest, man. How many of these women do you see walking around, regardless of how good they look? Do you see walking around in trips, going to um, vacation by themselves? Girls, girls nights out by themselves. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, they dudes come through, bust the cheeks one time and keep it pushing. Are we surprised? Just keep listening. Not even that it's not on the horizon. We are actually so single that we are at the point where I wouldn't even go into a shop and pick up an expensive dress and think, mm, I'll save this for a wedding. Like, wow. I cannot think of a single one of my friends who is nearing marriage. And as I said, for entirely selfish reasons, I'm just like, we're going to need to rectify that because I personally need to be at the weddings in my prime. So how are you going to rectify that? I need to be at that open bar having my your name moment. Like it just really does seem like something I'm going to have to delve into in my 20s. And time is running out. Unfortunately, time is running out, you know, five years down. Like we we are going to need the weddings to start rolling in. But as I said, I do believe that we have we have cheered each other's singleness on a bit too much. And I just don't know if I will be seeing a wedding before the decade is out, unfortunately for me that's too bad but the question is is there hope no probably <laughs> not <laughs> let's check out some of these comments see what the people have to say first comment here says we girl boss too hard yes you did with the crying emoji what's blowing my mind guys uh, right now is like this comment has 53k likes and this chick here is admitting that they girl bossed too hard yes uh, a lot of you going to be single. That's what this study saying. Everybody's going to be here to see. Let's just stop using the whole girl boss trope. You ain't a boss if you're lonely and single. See it on the coffee pot. Now the comment here says no because I'm a little too independent. Really? Here's somebody else who says the books in the back is telling me everything. I guess she's got a like good collection of books there. But check this out. Another woman here says. 29 here dot 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 crickets no um i'll have tea actually <laughs> stop drinking tea maybe you might have a chance 18.9k likes on that guys look at these numbers of women who agree there oh. are thousands million of these women out here who are finally realizing time is running out men aren't trying to lock them down as wives they don't qualify so that comment turned into a thread with another girl here saying girl same another person here added to the thread and said same with the laughing emojis and the crying emojis somebody else here added and says same girl with the crying emojis another chick here says i'll be 30 in four months and crickets with the sad face crying emoji laughing emoji just you know emotions are up and down up and down that's what that uh that's what those emojis say somebody else here says 30 and same but wait guys we're not done it keeps going another chick here says same z's and somebody else here says 28 soon silence even with the laughing emoji 31 same another chick here says heavy on the cricket somebody else here says 33 i don't know how i can fit a man in my schedule don't worry you won't have to you know no one's coming no one's coming <laughs> um let's check out some more comments man <laughs> somebody else here says as the token single friend while all of my friends are married slash engaged dot 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 take your time wow take your time. Listen, is it Worst surprising that ever. the only single friend in her friend group 
is giving terrible advice. If you want something, you have to prepare for it and qualify. Huge. I love that uh, Shrisi said that said that. Law of attraction. I, I use that law very, very well. I use the secret. I don't know if you guys know what the hell the secret is. It's some book that, you know, you have to manifest and blah, blah, fucking blah. There's, there's, there's more to it, but it's hard to fit things in your life if you do not make the space for it. One of the biggest examples in The Secret was a single woman. <clears throat> she wanted to get married, but she's a super high-powered woman, blah, blah, fucking blah. But you would you would ask her, oh, what do you do to put to make room in your life for your partner? I don't do anything. Where do you sleep in your bed? I sleep right in the center of the bed. Where do you park your car? You park right in the center of the the, 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 the garage, even though you have a two-car garage. People should be maybe s slowly thinking of the ways to add people in their lives, like maybe sleep on one side of the bed instead of the center of the bed. Like I personally sleep on only one side of the bed. I sleep on almost always the side that is closest to the door, just what I'm used to. I don't really sleep in the center of my bed, even though I have a queen size. Because I want to make room for my partner. Same thing with the garage. Instead of parking in the garage, in the middle of the freaking garage, put it to one side so you have room for another person. I'm not saying this is like the direct translations to relationships. But you guys can see if you're not doing any little things or any to help you along the way into the goal you want, you will never achieve it. You have to put in the work. But of course... She's headed to a single, long, lonely life. Here's another comment from another woman that says, I won't admit this. They're in denial. They can't admit the truth, even though it's looking them right in the eyes. Loneliness. Another comment here from a wife responded back to that chick and said, many won't and continue on in denial. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. only a wife would be drinking coffee. She responded back and said, uh-uh wifey is here to shame us totally wasn't expecting that so they don't like to drink wow. coffee as you know they don't like that truth the wife responded back. she agreed with you and now she's here to shame you okay back and said not shaming just not dodging the truth and she goes on to say once people acknowledge this and act differently life changes in other words once you take a shot of espresso no it's not just life you're just not acknowledging it acknowledging it does nothing acknowledging it and then putting in effort to fix it or change it that's where the the the, the magic happens just knowing that you're a fuck up and knowing that you fucked up or you're knowing that you're not what people want doesn't fix anything you have to actually fix what people want and yourself. Life changes. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Here's somebody else who says, babes, since y'all are still in your 20s, you have plenty of time. So I'm guessing this next chick is oh probably older than 20s. Do we see this situation get any better? No, it's not going to get any better. Guys, the content is it's, 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 it's too much content too much listen i can hardly keep up with these chicks out here who are complaining about not being able to find a man to take him seriously for marriage another chick here says i just want to wear gorgeous dresses and party with my girls here's the that's exactly what most women want and this is exactly why men are not getting married this is the only thing they want they're not even talking about the the husband the relationship the, the kids the family all of that no 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 no. all i want is a gorgeous dress and to party with my girls you can do that without being married you fucking know that right the other problem is i don't think the majority of these women of course don't even understand the sacrifice the dedication the commitment how marriage is not about happiness you know all the bitter parts of accepting the truth about marriage they don't want that they they all are sad that they won't be able to wear some pretty dress and take pretty pictures with their friends 
And she responded, the creator says exactly that, right? She can't wait to be in her dress too. We got another comment here that says, I've protected my piece too much. Somebody else here says, the pressure is getting worse. And our final comment here says, this is on the men. Oh, oh look God. at that. It's your fault. It's our fault again, Are guys. Are you surprised? She says, this is on the men. Our bar is high and they're just not close to reaching it. Shoulder shrug. And so, of course, man, it's your fault. It's oh, your fault guys. this chick can't find a husband to get on one knee and propose to her, right? Since she has all the power when it comes to marriage, it is your fault. Her standards are too high. There is not one man in this entire universe that qualifies. Why is it so embarrassing for some reason to be 27, almost 27 and a half in May, and single? Like, single as all heck. Nothing in my life has gone the way that I thought it would, which is fine. Feminism. I really never thought I would be this single at 27 when all I am or all I want is at least a relationship, a partner, a best friend, someone to live a life with, build a life with, get married, have kids, the whole shebang. Like, I always think of people, which isn't, like, right of me, but I'm like, why are you 27? Like, why are you in your late 20s or early 30s and you're single? Like, what must be wrong with you that you're single at that age? But then I think of myself, I'm like, I am not perfect at all. I'm, mm -mm, I am not perfect at all. So I get it. I'm like, it might not just be them, but it, like... I'm just rambling at this point, but all I'm saying is, can this just be the year where I find my person? And while I'm on that, where are all the good Christian nice men? Where are the people that don't give up when times get tough? Where are the people that actually mean what they say? Not even the person that's talking. I'm sure you're not the, the type of person that you're asking for yourself. That's the problem, I think. It's like, literally everyone around me is engaged, getting married, married, having kids, having their second and third kids, like, and I'm just, I never thought I would be the single friend. I never thought that would be me. So, that's cool. I also hate dating apps. Like, who I don't want to meet someone on a dating app. I want to meet someone genuinely in real life and have it go like that unless anyone on here see it's, they, they never talk about oh i'm gonna do this for them this is how i'm gonna take care of things this is all that no i just need this to happen so i can get the things i want i just need that to happen so i can get that it's never man I can't wait to take care of my husband. I can't wait to cook for him. I can't wait to take care of our kids. I can't wait to build my family. I can't wait for the, you know, the kids to be running around. I can't wait for my husband to come home from work and all, and then take care of him. Never any of that shit ever. Yeah. But so if you're in the central Illinois area, or really any state, because I'm graduating this May with my master's. Um, my lease is up in June. I can go anywhere, okay? I can literally move it to any state. And it's really crossing my mind right now. So, so, so you wasted all these years to get your master's and you still wanted to get married and all this. Why weren't you preparing for marriage or finding a mate as you were going into college, as you were in college? Those are probably the best years for you to be able to find a good man that is somewhat on your level. He's also in college going about the same pace as you. To just go. So central Illinois area or anywhere that's warm, has mountains, water, please comment below if you love God. It's number one. But why does it feel so embarrassing to be single at 27 when I just want to be starting and living a life with someone and having kids? Like... It's actually called shame. What you're feeling right now is shame.
like you're ashamed of yourself that you couldn't get to the points that you should be at where you should you kind of fucked up i think this is actually a good feeling that a lot of women feel within around these ages because you know in your biology that if things are going differently and things are you're losing things and you're not going to be able to do the exact same things that you were when you were younger at least by 29, you know. Hmm. Listen, as always, appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod, man. Leave your comments. Shout out to Shusi Zed. These women really just want that fancy dress, that fancy day to be able to show off to their friends. They don't give a fuck about the marriage. They don't give a fuck about the husband, nor the kids, nor the actual relationship itself. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And catch you guys next time. Ciao.